if I told you a Heisman finalist dead girlfriend never even existed. After a successful freshman season in Notre Dame, five-star linebacker Manti Teo struck up a relationship with Lene Kakua on Facebook. Turns out Lene was actually Ronaya Tuiasasopo, a former high school quarterback with NFL lineage, who created the fraudulent account to cope with internal issues when the world needed them most and even Max disappeared. After finding out Lene's father was ill, Teo offered his support, entering a long-distance relationship with a shorty who refused to pick up a FaceTime. That spring, he learned from Tuiasa Sopo, who was now posing as Kakua's brother, that Lene was in a car crash and in critical condition. And while on life support, was also diagnosed with leukemia. During this period, he'd call her up every single night, sometimes staying on the phone for as much as eight hours at a time. Undeniably a true gentleman, and without a doubt, the original simp. Early in his senior season, his grandmother passed away at just 72 years old. That afternoon, he learned his girlfriend died as well. But instead of missing games, he dedicated the rest of the season to Kakua's memory, making us all forget just how fugazi the fighting Irish truly are. After her death, Teo stayed in touch with Kakua's family, without realizing they were all invented by Tuiasa Sopo. This man built an entire catfishing universe. Low-key impressive. In December, he got a call from Kakua's sister, revealing she was still alive. Teo went to his uncle for advice who immediately suspected he was being catfished. Oh my god, Eureka! Despite this revelation, he continued to tell his sob story on national television. In January 2013, the hoax was exposed by Deadspin, and her photos were taken from one of Tuiasa Sopo's former classmates, Diane O'Meara. This pixelated profile picture had a brother sprung. After the debacle made headlines, Teo was ripped to shreds by the fans and the media, getting bamboozled in the national championship game and slipping to the second round of the NFL draft. Ten years later, Teo and Tuiasa Sopo told their full side of the story. And while only God can judge them for the trials and tribulations they've been through, y'all both were tripping.